today, the homework today is going to involve something a lot like this. We're going to have a big, long chart, and the chart's going to have all this stuff on it. And each row is going to be about a particular isotope of an element. So this row is about chlorine 35, this row is about whatever that is, and etc., etc. And we've got to fill in the blanks. It's like a big puzzle. We've got to figure out what to do. Rid of the competing noise there. <clears throat> Got to figure out what goes in every place. So we're going to do a few examples, then I'll release you to do your own. So let's look at this first one. The symbol is Cl1735, and so from the protons is the first thing we've got to figure out. How many protons does it have? Well, that's easy, because the number of protons is that little number down there. Remember that the Z number is always on the bottom. So we're going to put the number of protons, 17, right here. And then the number of neutrons we might look for. A lot of you are going to act, you're going to put 35 there, but that's not correct. Remember, the number of neutrons is not the top number. That top number is what you get if you add the protons to the neutrons. So we know that if we add 17 to the neutrons, we would get 35. So how do we find the neutrons? Well, we've got to subtract. We've got to say, well, what is 35 minus 17? The difference in those two numbers will always be the neutrons. Uh, so that would be 18, I believe. Then we get to the mass number. The mass number, that's easy. That's that top number. That top number is always the mass number. It's what the protons and neutrons added together with. So we don't have to do anything. That's right there for us. And finally, we get to the atomic number, which if you're smart, you're like, wait a minute, that's a stupid question. That's the same as the protons, isn't it? It's the same as the protons, so why is it on there twice? Well, it's to see if you're paying attention. Remember, the protons and the atomic number should always be the same. That's what the definition of atomic number is, how many protons you have. So whatever's in this column needs to go there. So we can actually, for this whole chart, we can kind of look and see whether there's any other place where that happens. So here, 18, that should be copied over here. And down here, 12, that should be copied over here, because those are always the same. Protons are the same thing as atomic number. And so now we've got this entire row done, and now we can go down to the next row. Um, the next row doesn't give us a symbol, so we're going to have to do some, some research here. We look at the number of protons and we see that it's 18. Well, what has 18 protons? Well, we don't know, so we look at the periodic table. And so we look for element number 18, and that turns out to be right here. Element number 18 is argon, so we know we're dealing with argon. Remember that 39.9, that number, that's the atomic mass. We're going to ignore that. We don't need that for today's assignment. Never use that number on the right up there. So we're going to use argon. We know that the symbol is argon, A-R. We know the bottom number has to be the proton number. And we know that the top number has to be, once again, the mass number. Remember, the top number is the mass number. So whatever goes here will go there. So let's go ahead and figure this out. How do we get the mass number? Again, it's protons plus neutrons. So protons plus neutrons is 36. So we write 36 up here. Boom, we're done with that one. Next, symbol is in mass number of 14. So if we remember what all these definitions are, 14, we know that's a mass number. We know we can fill that in right here. Top number is mass number, bottom number is atomic number. Whoa, this one didn't give us the bottom number. Sometimes they'll do that. But that's okay because nitrogen is on the periodic table. And we can look on the periodic table and we can see, well, nitrogen has an atomic number of 7. So we know that the number of protons has to be 7. So we go back over here and we can write 7 on the bottom down here. And we can write 7 here. And... Now that we have that, we can write it over here as well. And now all that's left is the neutrons. Well, again, don't put 14. It's never the top number. This top number is not neutrons. Neutrons is not anywhere in here. How do we get it? we got to look at the difference, because that's protons. That's protons and neutrons. So the difference in those two will always be the neutrons. So we're going to put the difference between 14 and 7 happens to also be 7. So we have 7 protons and 7 neutrons. Finally, this last example, I'm going to go ahead and stop 
and you guys need to work that last example. I'm going to leave the camera on for a few minutes so that you can uh, copy everything down there to make sure that, and that's what we're going to see whether you guys have figured out how to do this and then we're going to, uh, if you're all cool with that, then we will move on to the homework and you'll have the rest of the class to work on that. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that you get this down. The proton number is 12, the mass number is 27, and the atomic number is 12. See if you can't go ahead and figure out what should go in those two boxes. And then if you can, you'll be ready for the homework. Thank you and have a great day.